Some people call it fishing. For many of us, it's a lifestyle. Today we travel over 3,000 round trip miles. No canal, river, lake, ocean is too far for us. Florida, I am coming back for more. doing pretty good so it's our final day here in Lake Worth Florida Lake Worth Florida is located literally right next to West Palm Beach our journey begins in Pensacola Florida where we do some bridge fishing we continue our journey eastbound towards the coast where we target some invasive freshwater species our journey does not stop there we continue to fish many areas around South Florida while sharing great delicious recipes as well our reptile hunting and cooking episode you don't want to miss. This YouTube series is full of action and adventure. Oh yeah, baby, we're on. What the f is that? Jack? Not the good one, dude. Bring him, dude. Bring him. You guys think? You think we're gonna catch something big? Come to the bridge. Ultimately fishing our final days at the beautiful Florida Keys. Big and special shout out to our newest friend, Tom Savage. Everlasting Fishing Tour. Check it out everybody, check it out. We are at the famous Seven Mile Bridge. You know, we've got a lot of species that uh, like to, like to be around these bridges. Got a lot of snapper, grouper. We have um, tarpon, jewfish, you know, so we're gonna try to catch a variety of species. You know, I wish I can catch something big but it's not like that all the time. I might just maybe throw in for like a shark. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We're gonna head out about a mile out. Once we start hitting out that mile, that's where we're gonna start fishing. We're gonna fish around all these pilings and see what we can catch, all right? But let's get it going, everybody. Let's get it going. I don't know what that is, but it's a nice, beautiful fish. Come on. Grouper. Hell yeah, way little baby boy. Come on, baby. Little reef fish, or whatever that is. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, another one of those yellow fish. Pinche pescado amarillo. I don't even know what it is. Hey bro, bro, it's a lot of fish, but he's waiting. That is f***ing beautiful, wait. Dang, dude. I don't know what I caught, but... 
fighting pretty good. Oh, just what I wanted. Oh, yellow jack. Oh, yeah. I, I think those with a popping cork, you can catch them right here. Huh? You can catch them right here with a popping cork. Oh, shit. What? That's it, my kayak. I got you there. You can unhook from it. That, that, that was pretty bad. Heck yeah. My kayak went side. Yeah, well, that's the one that was everywhere. Yeah, if I can catch a hand size one, oof. Mm -hmm. Alright everyone, so we've been hooking on some jacks. Uh, I'm gonna try to get another one so I can have some bait for later. So I can try to hook on a big shark or something, or maybe a grouper. But, I'm basically losing my shrimp. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. So we are hooking the shrimp right at the tail. We're using a one knot. Gamakatsu J hook. Let's try this. What? Just throwing it right there. Huh? I'm calling this current way where they're all at. Yeah. It's a good size little jack. <laughs> Big one is out of yeah. Oh Holy shark! Shit. Shark! Shark! At least we know we can shark fish here. Big shark behind it. Yeah. Holy I'm gonna record that shark. I wanna record that shark. I think it's huge. Where is it? Oh yeah, we're gonna get a boy shark, baby. Woo! I'm gonna aim for that. Mark, that thing was huge. I saw it. I'm gonna anchor down over there. Maybe, maybe it, it can um, hold us both. Oh, I should, I should have hold us both. Right Pero there. on mine. Oh, that's from the bay right there, Vato. Yeah, but. Oh, that's a yellow tail snapper. All right, so I'm setting up to catch a big shark. Yes, I'm not using wire. Yes, I'm on a kayak. Yes, I'm not from the Florida Keys. But, I know how to catch a fish. Landing it is a thing. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. 
Jack? I think it is. <laughs> Dang. Those are small, man. Imagine those big 30 inch jacks. <laughs> those are fun, bro. That's what I want, dude. Nice, Jack. Look at the curl on this one, dude. Dang, dude. There's a bad up. Dang, dude, these jacks are. They're almost. Well, what's going on, everybody? So, yesterday we had a pretty okay day. Um, as you saw, I lost a big, big shark. It's a shark. It must have been a shark. And um, after that fight, I was expecting a shark. I wanted, you know, maybe a grouper. But after I lost that shark, I told myself that I'm gonna catch one today. I'm gonna try to catch one today. I'm going to target a shark today. And all I'm using is a 60 cobble. And I lost some line yesterday. I'm using my LCD 956 custom rod. That thing will hold up. That thing will hold up as long as I have enough line, right? <laughs> so, we're using a Jack Carval as bait. I can't find my knife. I can't find my knife. But oh, hold on. All right. We got a knife. Look, this is what I'm going to put as bait, okay? So I'm hook it right, probably about right here. You know what, no, I'm screw it, I'm going to hook it up here. What do you guys think? Do you think we're going to catch something big? Do you think so? So, let's see if I can redeem myself from yesterday. Go ahead and cast this. We are at the Florida Keys at the famous Seven Mile Bridge. And there she goes. <laughs> Wish me the luck. Wish me the luck. I'm going to need it. Hopefully this line doesn't pop. There's another boulder over there. I'm gonna loosen the drag a little bit, and when as soon as it goes, I will set the hook. The jack's jumping over there. All right, let's do this. My combo hasn't screamed that much. Really. Oh shit, you slow him down, dude. Slow him the fuck down. Oh yeah. We're gonna get spooled. We're gonna get spooled, wait. Oh shit, man. Gotta get spooled by a fuck shark. <laughs> Just got fucking spooled, man. Holy oh. shit. <laughs> this dangerous bait that I put on there. Damn. This is what you gotta do when you get spooled the fuck out. You put that line on the better reel. <laughs> to lose a little bit of tension.
bro. Get him, bro. Oh, yeah, baby. We're on. Back on? Yeah. Is it? What you got there, man? <laughs> Big old bobcat. I need a... I need to relate my other light fresh before I start messing around. It's going to the bridge. Oh. Let's see what happens. Because those cobbles are strong, we. Their drag is like amazing. It sliced me. Light tackle action. Light tackle action on the floor and keep. I'm fine, enjoy, dude. Look at that rod. I'm using a $750 rod out here in the Florida Keys on a kayak. Oh. oh. And it came off. Oh, it cut you off. Yeah. Damn. Shark get it or what? I think a shark got it, dude. I think a shark did get it. Oh, yep. oh shit. Damn. Oh. Damn. <laughs> the little Bamford that could. <laughs> shark got that shit, man. Oh, man. You're on. Shark. You're on. Shark. Bring him on. Bring him Bring him. Oh, there's a nice fish. Oh, I see him. I see him. I see him. Yeah, that's a good jack, dude. Oh, that's a good one, dude. Bring him, dude. Bring him. He's under you. He's big, dude. It's a good sizer. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yes, dude. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. Beautiful jack. Look at that. Some more bait. We're targeting a shack. That was good, dude. Yellowtail snapper. Where they they're called? Huh? I'm like yellowtail snapper. I don't know what they're called. Yeah, they are called yellowtail. I looked it up right now. But they gotta be 12.
How's it going, everybody? It's another beautiful day out here in the Florida Keys. We're in Big Pine, Key. Big Pine Key at the Florida Keys. You already know, it's gonna be a beautiful day. It's looking like a beautiful day. I'm here with a friend that I met out here at a, at a local tackle store, Mr. Tom Savage. Savage. And then uh, we're accompanied by his good friend, Rob. <clears throat> and we're about to head out. We're gonna be doing all types of fishing. We're gonna be doing some trolling, some bait dropping, maybe some casting. See what other crazy stuff we get ourselves into out there in the, the beautiful Florida Key waters. And it's just gonna be an amazing day. I have a good feeling about this, but overall, you know, it's fishing and we just wanna have a great time and come back safe. That's the, uh, the main thing as always, right? Yes, sir. Come back safe in one piece because we always uh, have opportunities to fish. But we're gonna try to bring some great action for you all. We're in, uh, what size of boat, 24 foot? 24 foot Robalo Cayman. 24 foot Robalo Cayman Bay Boat. It's an amazing boat, it has a 300 horsepower Yamaha, and uh, it looks amazing, it feels amazing. The water looks super good, so I think it's gonna be a great day. So hopefully we catch some fish, and thanks for the opportunity that, that you gave us to come out here and enjoy some fishing with you. Well, we appreciate you guys coming down, and we're gonna take advantage of you in Texas. Yeah, summer. I promise him, uh, next time he goes South Texas, uh, we're gonna be doing some fishing. So let's get the day started, everybody. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Let's get going. All right, so we're gonna start chumming um, the water. Chum the water a little. So we found a little patch of grass right by that buoy or that, that float right there. And we're gonna try to chum the water. We're gonna chum the water and see if we can get anything out of that nice, nice little bush floating around. Ideally, that's where the fish like to hang out. You know, sometimes we're looking for bigger weed beds or birds that indicate that that's where the fish are. We're gonna start with that to see what we can potentially find. Well, Tom's cutting up the bait and we're gonna start trimming the water with this ballyhoo. That on that single hook you have. Just in case. Yep. Got to be ready. That's what we're doing here. Okay, Rob, draw in neutral. Yep. We're going to get close to that that little floating piece of grass to see if we see some fish come up. Just a little, Rob. Yep. There's eight fish. Mm-hmm. See, they're already feeding off of that chum. Throw yours right at that spot. What are those floats? A little triple tail. Little one. Oh, I see my bait. Let it drop. So what's that splash do, Tom? I'm gonna try to see if we can track something from anything lower in the 
water down. So while Tom's splashing the water, um, what he's doing there is making commotion for some potentially bigger fish to to come up and see what's going on up here. But it's crazy how that grass bed holds a lot of uh, a lot of fish. We started. We were starting to troll around this area, around that that grass, that floating grass. We're in about 500 feet of water. So what um, Tom just threw out right now, it's a it's a it's a mini skirt. He's going to start trolling that. We already got um, a, a rig with two little artificial squids on it. Now it's this uh, skirt. And the third thing we will be trolling is going to be a skirt with ballyhoo, with pre-rigged ballyhoo that we have over here that we're about to chunk in right now. 500 feet in the Atlantic. That's the first feet. <laughs> so check out this uh so we're about to chunk out that ballyhoo that pre-made ballyhoo with that skirt that's not even a big skirt it's about what five six seven inches five inch skirt it's a five inch skirt nothing too too wild i would expect it's something bigger especially in this depth but you know you don't always need the biggest presentation out here So that's what it is. We're gonna troll and we're gonna see if anything hits these baits. Baby, Tom is on. Yes. Sir. <laughs> Come on, baby. Yeah. And there's another one more down there. I'm not sure. I think that's my my bait. No. Use that color jig. Let me try it. Another, <laughs> when hungry, no doubt. Mm There's another one, there's another one. Come on, baby. Get my jig, baby, come on. There's one right here, look. He's going towards you. Smaller piece. That's way too big. He do one like that small dude. How's that fight, Tom? 
Where is he? It's because he, he's following the other one. He is. There's another one right here. Right there. Put it over there, put it over there, put it over there. There he is. See him? There you go. There he's following that. Oh, shit, shit. I don't know where he's laying. Come on, take it, buddy. What's wrong with you? Just following the other one. He came off. We don't have a gaff. Oh, the grouper, dude. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh that, I think that's a keeper. That's strawberry. You know? That's a beautiful fish. Dang! Beautiful fish. Now Tom didn't lose this one this time. Hmm? I'm like, Tom didn't lose this one this time. <laughs> How deep did you get him? Right on the bottom. Damn, it's a strawberry? I think it is, right? Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, it's strawberry. Strawberry. Dang, I never seen one of those. Delicious fish. Woo hoo hoo, look at that. That's a big drop. Yeah. You got a bonita and they're right here. Bucket mix fish. I know, I don't think yeah. it is. No, it's a king. No, oh, it's Spanish. It's Spanish. No, it's a king. Yeah, that's a king. That's the kingfish. Damn. Or is there Spanish? No, oh, that's a Spanish, I think. Is it a Spanish? Yeah. Whew. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is Spanish. Kingfish, I think, has the stripes. Man, these bucktails work amazing.
do you sell your jigsaw or no? Hmm? Or you just make them for fun? Oh, yeah. Dang. Yeah. Okay. Aquí adentro. Que no se te vayan. Let's tell him Mark, always throw him inside the boat. Yellow tail. That's some nice yellow tail. All right, so this is what we're casting out there, everybody. Check it out. All those right there? Yeah. What are those? Micro? Yes. <laughs> nice fish. I don't think this yeah. one's the size of them. It gotta be 20? Oh, uh, I'm on the Spanish. How big do they gotta be? 12 inches. 12, so oh, okay. Here. Oh yeah, it's like 15. Watch out. Oh, I got one. Keep them away from the motor. Nice yellow. Trigger fish. Yeah, those are very delicious, man. Yep. All right, so we're just dropping the live shrimp down. <clears throat> we're letting it drift away with the chum bag that we have here. And we've been getting a lot of different species. You know, we got trigger fish, we got um, Spanish, and yellow tail snappers getting a lot of action here. So letting it drift slowly, let it go, let it go, let it drift. And all these good fish will come towards it. You guys like hot food? Yeah, you're Mexican. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is that no stereotype whatsoever. You didn't see us eating a jalapeno right now? <laughs> With a sandwich? With a sandwich. <laughs> a, 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 a serrano pepper. What I was saying is you should take fish tonight, since it's your last night here. Uh-huh. Go to Lazy Days in Marathon. Oh, okay. And have it Lazy Day style and jalapeno. jalapeno infused. Oh. And you'll get half Lazy Day style regular which is panko, scallions, tomato, uh -huh. parmesan cheese. Oh, he's plenty big enough. Let's squeeze the tail together. He's plenty big enough. Ugh. Parmesan cheese, and then do half uh, jalapeno encrusted. Oh yeah, oh, we gotta go. Yeah, that's the plan. Two hookups. Yep. I'll be. Oh, wow. I got it. Got on the door, bro. Watch out. I'll go this way. Nice. Heck yeah. Oh yeah. Nice macro. What does he have? Macro Watch out. It looks like a kingfish. It doesn't look like a mackerel. Yeah, I throw him back. You know. Those gotta be what, 24? 20. Yeah, it says right there, dude. Little tail. Nice. That's a good one. Oh, nice yellow tail. Beautiful fish. So what you doing there, Tom? Hmm? What you doing there? Chum block. <laughs> Stinky fish guts. That's what that does. The only trouble with this thing is dirty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>